And accused of starting a massive fire in New Jersey went before a judge today and prosecutors reveal video of the suspect Juan Padilla on the day of the fire. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates is live at the court in Somerville with details. Tony. Good afternoon, uh, Charlene. The one thing that Juan Hector Padilla could have had going for him this morning in court is that he really does not have a criminal record, but that simply did not weigh enough to counter the charges that are against him. Juan Hector Padilla entered the court in handcuffs this morning for his detention hearing that did not go in his favor. His public defender tried to have him released while he awaits trial for aggravated arson after last Sunday's fire in Boundbrook nearly wiped out an entire block. Prosecutors prevented the evidence from Padilla's Facebook post days before the blaze. Specifically on January 1, 2020 at 4.53 p.m., he said, I'm thinking of burning down this building that they put up to f with my head. On January 4th, 2020 at 4.42 p.m., he said, going to start the fire at 7. And lastly, at 3.54 p.m., he said, I will burn the world to the ground. And video evidence showing Padilla on the day of the fire, first at a liquor store, then a man prosecutors say is Padilla pacing between the train station and the Meridia 2 building, walking away as the fire erupts in the rear of the building, which was under construction. It quickly became an inferno that jumped across the street, destroying other buildings, including a group home. 100 people evacuated from the area and 36 fire departments racing to Boundbrook to take down the fire. This looks like a war zone, not downtown Boundbrook. In all, more than $51 million worth of destruction, according to officials. Judge Kevin Shanahan decided to keep Padilla in custody. In this court's opinion uh, indicates the defendant is a significant danger to the communities. No word yet on when Padilla will be back in court. The Red Cross, of course, still helping families with temporary shelter. And also the city of Boundbrook is collecting money to help those people who were victims of that fire. There is also a GoFundMe page collecting money.